Welcome to day three at the Shell Eco Marathon. After having successfully passed safety inspections yesterday, the green team Twenta still had to pass certain elements in the propulsion and hydrogen systems. Unfortunately, we have been having electrical issues which have persisted over the last couple of days. Our DC-DC converter, which converts the electricity produced in our fuel cell to 48 volts, has been severely damaged. After working deep into the night to fix this problem, we have finally found a solution, allowing us to go to technical inspection. At Energy Verifications, they check the vehicle's entire electrical and hydrogen system. This includes secondary systems, such as lights and indicators, but more importantly, the primary system. The way the H20 works is it takes hydrogen supplied to us and converts it to electricity through our self-developed fuel cell. This electricity is then converted to 48 volts and stored in our buffer. The motors then use this electricity to propel the car around the track. The H20 is also equipped with regenerative braking. This is where our car can turn mechanical braking into electricity and store it back into the buffer. This entire system was checked today making sure that there were no leaks and that the whole system follows the rules. This is both from a safety standpoint and to ensure there is no foul play. The H20 has now passed all safety and technical inspections, allowing us to race this week. Please follow our progress through Facebook and Twitter. If you plan on visiting the Shell Eco Marathon, please register for free tickets on the Eco Marathon website. Thank you for watching today's video and please check back tomorrow for the next daily update.